Hello again, my name is David Watts from Lenovo Press and I'm here today with Tom Boucher from Emulex Hello. and we're going to talk about, about the Emulex fibre channel family of adapters. So Tom, what do we have here? So we've got a couple of the different types. We've got you know a standard PCIe adapter. This is a 16 gig card and then we have the new Lenovo AnyFabric slots. So these are the 8 gig 4 port card and then the 16 gig 2 port card. And there's a, a variety of um, adapters available, different port counts so that you've got uh, single port, and two port cards and four port cards, right? Yes, that's correct. In both the two different form factors. Mm -hmm. And there are some 16 gig and some 8 gig, advanced 8 gig, right? Yes, that's correct. Right, okay. Now, you mentioned these are the, the AnyFabric uh, adapter form factors. They go in service like the RD650 we have here, right? Yes. Talk a more about that. So the uh, RD650 and the 550 have a new dedicated I.O. slot down this, on the this system one the board front itself. Here, yeah. So in the RD650, we pull out this uh, riser card and then you take uh, an this, this is module. the, the AnyFabric connector right here, the yes. AnyFabric slot here. So you can take an AnyFabric module, you pop the little uh, plug in yep. that comes with it, and then you uh, install the adapter, it just slides right in. And then there's a little click once it gets in. And you so what's, the, the, what's the advantage of the AnyFabric port then? So you could think of it as your, your uh, first off it doesn't consume one of the I.O. slots in the server but it also is a lower cost, initial cost adapter. So your first adapter is kind of your least expensive adapter. You add it to the any slot. And then for hardware redundancy, you can take a PCIe card and install it in one of the riser cards that the 36 or the 650 has. So right. you can take it, make it easier you know, to take the optics out when you install these, otherwise you've got to bend things and, and whatnot. But uh, it just goes right here in, in any of the slots. It's a Gen 3, PCIe by 8 connector, so it'll go in any of the uh, Gen 8 slots. Uh, you just pop it in uh, and All then right. uh, install it back into the server just uh, by plugging the riser card back in. And this, the RD650, which we have here, um, has eight slots plus the any fabric slot, so quite a lot of I.O. Yes, quite quite a bit for this uh, flat. And you could put um, Ethernet cards or fiber channel cards um, in the any fabric or in the PCI slots. That's correct. As well. All right. Yep, okay. Um, now, you mentioned um, at the beginning that there, there are 16 gig adapters and advanced 8 gig adapters, right? Yes. So, so what, what, what's, eight gig, what's advanced 8 gig? So with the, the Think Server line of servers, they, instead of going with the older technology of the 8 gig cards that we've had for a number of years, they took a 16 gig technology and then married it to uh, 8 gig optics. So it gives you kind of the best of both worlds. You get the high performance of the newer chipset. It's about three times faster than a traditional 8 gig card. And then you've got the lower cost 8 gig optics in the adapter itself. So you get a good value of price and performance in, in one package. Right. So if you have an 8 gig fabric, that'd be an ideal situation because yes. you've got, you're only paying for 8 gig optic modules, right. but you have the ability of using um, high performance 16 gig uh, chip on the card itself. That's correct, yes. Yeah, okay, yep. All right, now the 16 gig, 16 gig fiber channel cards have got additional features available yes. to them, right? One of the reasons the new optics are expensive in the, in the 16 gig card is they have two new features. We have, first we have the uh, clear link broke from Brocade. So Brocade has a capability now to allow us to do loopback beyond just the adapter. So with the previous generation, I could do loopback and test the card to make sure it was connecting correctly. But I couldn't test the cable between the adapter and the switch or the cable between the switch and the storage array. With the Brocade ClearLink, I can now send loopback signals to the switch or onto the storage target, and it can tell me if my optical links between the server and the storage are okay. And of course, that feature is only for Brocade switches. Yes, that's correct. Um, yeah. Only with the 16 gig cards, right? Correct. Right. Yep. And, yet, and there's another feature as well, right? Yes. So we have another feature that's uh, in the adapter itself. It's called Express Lane, and the idea for Express Lane is that you have could have a mix of storage environments in, in your fabric. You could have a me spinning media. You know, no, formerly known as hard drives, and then we have the new SSD media that's out there today uh, as well. What th this gives you the ability to do is to specify which is a SSD disk and which is a spinning disk, and then that way you can balance the workload of the fabric and give more credits to the SSD disk because it's going to complete faster than it would to the magnetic media, and that way you don't have your hard disk slowing down your SSD if the SSD completes the request faster, and it can rebalance the load. Okay, yep, yep, very good. Um, now, the manage management software for these, all of these cards in the family is the Emulex One Command Manager, yes. right? Yes, so One Command Manager is the adapter management software we use for both our fiber channel and Ethernet family of adapters. It's also cross-platform, uh, so if you have System X or Flex System customers that use our products, they can also manage ThinkServer from the common uh, right. platform. 
Yep. Um, and the, now the device driver is for uh, is suitable for M, uh, all MLX cards? Yes, so the fiber channel device driver actually works whether it's an 8 gig, advanced 8 gig, 16 gig, or fiber channel over Ethernet. So it's the same device driver for the all the Think Server family of products. Right, yep, okay, very good. Well, there you have it. So these are the Emulex family uh, of uh, fiber channel adapters. Um, I hope you found this video useful, and we'll see you again next time. See ya.